Hey guys, Mustard Shirt Cat here today, and I want to take you through a different kind of guide. I spent a bit of time recently on hideout decorating, so I want to walk you through the hideout I've come up with. People on the stream seem to like it a lot, and I think I might make one of these every league. Not a hideout, but like a little shelf video, sim style, if you guys do enjoy it. So, let's start off on the coast. Now, this is a Haku base level 8 hideout, and I wanted basically something which kind of had like a cool kind of ambient theme. Lots of shifting kind of parts. So you can see I kind of went for like a port-like feel here. I made an edging using the colossal swords. And we've got a little fisher bro hanging down, catching some fish and stuff for the peeps. We've got a few cats, which can apparently swim, but chilling out near the fishes. Crane slabs seems good. We have Verici and Zana as like the two kind of like weaponsmiths, so to speak. Looking after all the stocks seems good. Verici looking a little bit more shabby. And Zana looking a little more regal. Now you can see we have a path coming up to the right from the broken paving. But first I wanted to show you my beach front. Then we'll go up to the top. It's a bit of a reveal. But you can see you've got Haku. Haku is looking after his little scrap pile because that's what he does apparently. And we've got a little Battle Master Vague and this nice little tent before we go up the path. All mysteries. So we have this fence and you go, okay, well there's the shipwreck here and there's a few logs and stuff. What's so fancy? Well, I couldn't help but put a nice little recluse shack in there. Might make Bob proud. A little nice little cabin for my boy Elrion. I can see he's got a little like stack pile of books and shelves and stuff in there. And he just sort of sticks himself, reading his books, looking out at the sea, pondering the existential questions of life. The little ginger cat bro. So let's follow back this pathway. So, ooh, what's this? A change of scenery. See this like more greenery coming in now, a few trees. We come up, ooh, ah. I have kind of another little oversea thing here and I did want to put in a little tombstone for cap, cap, cat, a rip in pieces. A few little green things going around, kind of a nice kind of vibe. We've got Katarina, Master of the Dead, sort of lording over the whole thing. Here we have the waypoint, obviously this is where we come into the hideout. We've got a nice little, built a nice little walkthrough. I like having the arches and stuff, and you can see I've put some rocks to kind of like build up around the edge of the hideout. So you sort of come through, come through here, boom, 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 boom. Navali, we never use her anyway, but she's got some cool decorations around, skulls and ting. And here we have like a little crafting section, so we've got sharpening stuff, blessing font, armor thing. Save that, good, good for later. Here we have another fisherman, nice sea view. Boa's tools, arson bench. You, when you're stroking that RNG, you've got your magic well with your little froggos. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. And you're getting your RNG or looking out to the sea. And of course, MVP, white fern. So this is where the real... Mm, see that ominous mist? What's up here, chat? This this I am proud of. Okay, so we have a bit of return of the old paving from downstairs. And I've kind of like this really overgrown feel. A few prayer stones in here. Nice little bit of headstone. Gentle Mist, Tree Overgrown Map Device, and the carcass of some Great Whale. A couple more trees in the background. Come through, and we have Tora with Metal Stash, Gill Stash, and some more booty. Some gold piles in here would be a nice touch amongst the um, bric a brac, but I need to get my Zana slightly higher level. And just to really make it all kind of come together. And I just like the greens and the golds and the and the feels good, man. So this took me probably about three or four hours mucking about. People remember that I, you know, did a different hideout the day before. I really like this kind of thing. It's like I could get in the habit of just making like one of these every couple of weeks, just a really a kind of elaborate-ish hideout with a theme. Maybe take a few suggestions from chat if you guys enjoyed it. And since it annoyed when people don't do this in the hideout of the week, I'm also going to show you what it looks like. Uh, so if you do want to create a similar version of stuff, you can go, ah, so that's what he used. So, some things require a lot more layering than others. Um, these bits in particular, you need to do very heavy layering on the slopes. Because terrain doesn't sit neatly on the slope, it kind of like juts out at awkward angles. So you can see I've used lots of little rocks and pebbles. Um, and Val debris. That's been like my MVP for filling in slots. Just to make it a nice even walkthrough. And then again, one thing that I think is important is to mix in like some green among the vol debris. I use that as my main sort of like floor filler because it matches quite well with the mossy overgrown walls. But if you only have this, it looks very dead. You need to have like a few little pops on it. I still like this hideout isn't finished yet. I could do a little bit more like window dressing. 
But just little like features of a few leaves and the odd rock in the path here just makes it feel a lot more interesting. But back on, and again, I built this whole bit up from rocks that add more of a kind of just more perspective, make it a bit less flat and dead. And again, I built like this little alcove in just to make it feel less open. Most hideouts, like they, people go really hard on trying to make it look really cool, but they keep it all, all way, way too open. And uh, just adding like a little wall to make a small little alcove here just makes it a little bit more interesting. Come down through here. Again, very heavy on this. A few bricks. This was just like a quick last minute thing just to make this white bit a little bit more interesting. I did want to keep it kind of sandy. I wanted to have like the different uh, sort of aspects, but yeah. And this is one thing. I don't know if I like or dislike the water coming through over the paving. It's a kind of interesting effect. I put a few like heavy slabs to cover the more obvious patches. But one thing I will say for anyone out there who wants to mess around with Haku hideouts is you need to be very careful uh, with this bottom section. I prefer like building like an edging, like a port or something. Um, but yeah, if you want to hide the water coming through, you need to put like big barrels and stuff to block in the weird little effects. Then you come through and again, I've just put a few like small touches here and they just to make it feel a little, a little bit more interesting. And I shoved a few extra bits of ranking debris in here just to make it feel kind of a bit more interesting. And not quite too barren on the odd little shore rocks and whatever. But yeah, so this is just what kind of kind of came up with. Let me know if you like more of these kind of videos. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please do let me know. I'm Saki. Have a good day. Bye bye.